So I got this from eBay, very cheap, it's an insulation tester, a uh, Megger. It's a very nice equipment, it's hand crank. But it's not working, so I was searching for some information online and I found this video by the Eprom 9. The Eprom 9 was so nice to, to make a schematic here and I found there are four 15K, 50k resistors two in series so it's one on the key and my instrument is quite different well not so different let's open it if I can fix this camera it's fucking camera okay so I just removed the screw and unconnected the instrument it is here writings are different from the other video there is home written here some numbers here and other numbers here and other number inside here because I removed these to to center the instrument by the way the difference is here I have two 100 key resistors and one is open, the other one is about 10 mega ohm. So they are way off and broken. It was inside there, the screws. And the mounting is the same of this one because I have four holes. One, two, three, four. So it can mount four 15K resistor or two 100K resistors. So I need to change them and I don't have a capacitor inside like the other video, there is no capacitor here and uh, those coils here they are connection and they measure about 6 ohm each I don't know, they are quite fine so they are good one one thing is strange one of the exit here it's connected from directly from the crank motor here to this why it goes here in a place inside you can see but this connection here goes to a ring and this ring is not connected to the to, to the chassis to the chassis or is not connected to any of the poles so it's disconnected maybe it goes inside here for testing purpose and I don't know but this ring and this part that came from the hand crank is connected also through this wire here to this metallic plate with this little screw here and this plate is not connected to the chassis so I I don't know why to apply high voltage from this side of the motor through this wire to this plate that is disconnected from for everything from everything this it's insulated resistors are insulated so there is no high voltage connection really I don't understand well that's it okay and we have a nuclear alert on fallout 76 and so that's the end of the video thank you thank you to the Eprom 9 from for his video it was very very useful now I have to restore this piece of equipment and I have a problem with this handle that is stuck let me move it away <clears throat> this is totally stuck and I can't move it I don't know what to do
Let's do a slideshow now because I have some picture you have to see about the instrument itself. It's it's quite nice. As you can see, it's beautiful and I had to open it to change the resistors but also to fix the instrument that was stuck. Here you can see the springs connecting the instrument to the to the coil, to the hand crank. These blue things here. And here are the resistors. 100K burned. I had to change them. The instrument itself is quite complicated. I had to open it and center the coils because it was stuck somehow but now it's working fine in the next pictures you will see some writings inside it and that's it it's very very nice And here are the new resistors. I tried to fit them inside and I decided just to keep the original resistor in place and zip tie the new one, as you can see here. This is the final installation. And now the instrument works and I will test it in the next part of this video. This is a very cheap Chinese tester for components and it uses a 9 volt battery so it doesn't use high voltage and for this component, for this tester the component is good, it's quite good. But this is rated for 1500 volts so we need to test it high voltage and this is why we need a mega for this kind of test. Oh, first let's try a new capacitor here with the mega. Okay, connect it and let's try it. So you see resistance is more than 100 mega ohm is at the infinite point here. Now let's try this one. It's about 15 years old or 40 or 30, I don't know. It's quite old. Same value as this one. But look at this. One hundred fifty kilo. This is now a resistor and this is very leaky and this is why we use a mega to test this old equipment here because we need high voltage. 
so thank you for for the help Tihi from nine channel helped me a lot in fixing this equipment please subscribe to his channel I will write the link below in the comments and so thank again and I'm sorry for my English language is very bad I know but this video was meant as a as a thank to him for the help he gave me fixing this equipment so thank you again the from nine please subscribe to his channel and and that's all